seeing David Bowie's concert at Roker Park last night when he congratulated the capacity crowd for keeping the rain away. A minute or so later, the heavens opened, but uh, didn't dampen the enthusiasm of the 38,000 people who forked out 15 pounds a time for the privilege of seeing the legendary star on Wearside. Roker Park has been voted a winner by concert promoter Harvey Goldsmith and most of those involved in the organization, despite the difficulties many faced in finding public transport home. Big Country were brought in as the icebreakers for Roker's first bash at a big time rock concert. For some of the capacity 38,000 crowd, they turned out to be a bigger attraction than the main event. Sunderland Council, mindful of future bids for concerts such as this, checked noise levels throughout. Their verdict, no complaints, and there were none from nearby residents either. Big Country won many fans with their set, but it was this man that most of the fans had turned out to see. plane had been delayed were fueled by a 10-minute delay in the start of his set. The theatrical and complicated story of the glass spider began to unfold to a sometimes bemused audience. The lack of a number of his famous songs disappointed many after Bowie eventually dropped in. And the rain robbed the crowd of a chance to see the spectacular encore, which should have had Bowie on top of the glass spider. He's restricted us to showing just 30 seconds of the act, which now jets off to Stockholm for the next stage of a 90-date world tour. And next.